the measure of a man or the man that you're measuring. This is the Worship Team Training Podcast with your host and training director, Brandon Dempsey. Hey, worship team friends and leaders, what is up? Brandon Dempsey, it is so great to have you. Thank you so much again for subscribing to the worshipteamtraining.com podcast, weekly podcast that comes to you now twice a week with the word of the week and also on our Tuesday Facebook live shows simulcast. You can find that at facebook.com slash worshipteamtraining. And of course, go to our site, worshipteamtraining.com. You will find our workshops that come to you on a Friday or Saturday meeting working with your worship team, tech, worship leaders, musicians, vocalists, your pastors, to give you an all-round, crafted, customized workshop that looks just like you. Also, we have a mentoring program that you can check out as well. You can go to WTT u.co and find our university site as well. Be sure to sign up for the Monday Morning Digest that you can get every week straight to your inbox. If you go to worshipteentraining.com and on that homepage, there is a pop-up page. You can click on that. It says sign up here and never miss an update. We believe in that. And so we thank you guys for spending your time with us today. We appreciate your support. You want to be sure to connect with us on these next events coming this week. Tuesday and Thursday trainings, we are talking about style and demand. How do you really lead? David Manor is going to be joining us also on Thursday. Wednesday, backing up, Rich Kirkpatrick about leading a legacy. That's on February the 21st, 2018 at 12 p.m. Central. You want to sign up for that webinar. Rich has some amazing good things that you want to see and you don't want to miss it. So you can catch all the postings at worshipteentraining.com and as well as wttu.co. That is our online on-demand university. Uh, A quick word, you want to make sure that you sign up between now and March the 1st before our prices raise, you can save 25% right now on our highest level membership that gives you full access to on-demand videos, interviews, webinars that are unlimited, by the way, downloadable books, and more. Catch us on Instagram. Watch our shows on our Facebook page. As said before, that's Worship Teen Training. Follow our Bible highlights on Version Worship Teen Training, Brandon Dempsey, and be sure to follow us on Snapchat and Twitter at Worship TT. Here is your word of the week. Measure. According to our uh, online dictionary, of course, no one has a real book dictionary laying around somewhere, and if you do, God bless you. So our Mac, let's say, Red Dictionary app says about defining measure as a certain size, amount, degree of something by using an instrument or device marked in standard units or comparing it to an object of a known size. What does that really mean? It means that it is something of a device or a standard that we use to measure one model against another. Our verse of the week comes from Matthew 7, 2. Jesus put it this way. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. And a side note, I love Jeremiah ten twenty four that says, He says, discipline me, Lord, but only in due measure, not in your anger, or you will reduce me to nothing. Worship leader, you know what it takes. A lot of great work, but your work is only as great as the team members who put in their weekly volunteering into your ministry. This is something that I hit home in our worship Monday morning Bible studies that we do on WTTU.co, that your team of volunteers, your staff that you serve with in worship, they make your ministry. It's not your music. It's not the instruments that you have on stage. It's not the technology that you have behind the board or in, installed inside the ceiling. It is all about the hearts, souls, and minds of the people that you serve with. How are you serving them? Or are you taking more time judging them and other things that they do? And yes, I did say that word because, look, we don't mean to do it, but we all do it. We find ourselves in a scenario where we think, well, that could be done better, or I could do that better, or this person's not really measuring up to snuff. You know, if we're honest with ourselves, we all do it. I do it. And it's a sin. 
it's something that God needs to eradicate from our souls and from our minds because measuring ourselves or measuring somebody else doesn't do us any good. All it does is cause us harm. So we want to be careful with not measuring others. We measure not others, but only yourself to Christ. Jesus is the only one that we should measure ourselves to. Our worship team training leaders, these are people that come to our workshops, they go to our mentoring, they sign up for WTTU.co. Worship team training leaders are highly effective leaders. And why they're highly effective is because of three points. Number one, they find their worth in Jesus Christ. They don't find their worth in other worship leaders that you may see on YouTube or other people that you may see at a conference or the church that's down the street. Or maybe, maybe it's a cubicle or office just around the corner that could be the senior pastor or somebody else in your staff that you measure yourself to in order to find your worth, to find your acceptance. You know what, worship leader, worship team member, singer, musician, pastor, audio tech, your identity and significance comes from God alone. It doesn't come from anyone or anything else. Let that, let Christ himself be your measure, not anything else. Point number two, your measure is also in 48 hours. Now, what does that mean? I had a friend that told me about the story of 48 hours, and he said, you know, Brandon, if you were to look back in your life 48 hours from now, going back in time, what do those 48 hours look like to somebody else? When you think about all the thoughts that went through your heart and through your mind, the actions that you performed, the words that you said, the deeds that you've done, how were those 48 hours and what did they look like? Would it be something that would be attractive to somebody else? Would it be something that would maybe be appalling to somebody else? And the kicker question was, if someone were to look into your life in those 48 hours, would it be something that would attract them that they would say, yeah, I want what that person has within their 48 hours? I want what Brandon did within those 48 hours. Is it something that they would take with them? And if they did, is it something that they would give away? Would they share those 48 hours, like the way that you share things on Facebook and Twitter or Instagram? Would others want to share your past life of 48 hours to somebody else on their social feed? Or would they give it back? Or would they maybe hit the ignore button? As often as I share within our workshops that... Everyone is looking within your 48 hours of your life. Maybe they don't know everything that happens the way God does within your heart, but your actions speak louder, of course, than your words. So how are your actions? How are your words? How is it when others come through your ministry, you find yourself not judging them, but accepting them? You find yourself not berating them or condemning them, but encouraging them, nurturing them, loving them, praying for them. Point number three. Measure the goodness of God to others better than yourself. So while maybe you're thinking about the good that you can do, think more about the better that others can do. Because, again, your team is founded upon great people, and most of them are probably better than you in some regard. It is a smart thing to surround yourself with people who are smarter than you because it only makes your ministry, it makes your doing that much greater because it becomes their doing. It becomes their ownership. It becomes their ministry and no longer yours because when you look at it, the ministry is really not ours to begin with. It's God's. So this is something that I always share in our university at WTTU.co that your worth is worth of your ministry and to your people. So reject the idea that you need to measure yourself to somebody else and be sure that you are measuring yourself to Christ. Hey, worship team friend, do you want more? Then go to worshipteentraining.com, check out our workshops, our mentoring for your worship ministry, or become a member at wttu.co. 
That's our membership on demand site for worship teams and leaders. And if you like this podcast, I humbly ask you to give us a five star rating on iTunes or iHeartRadio. Even better, share this podcast with a friend. We hope that you're encouraged and transformed by the leading of worship. I'm Brandon Dempsey, worshipteentraining.com and Worship Teen Training University. And remember, you don't need to be perfect. Just let God transform the way you live life and the way that you lead worship. See you next time. This has been a Worship Team Training broadcast and digital production with your host and training director, Brandon Dempsey. Worship Team Training provides live workshops and online resources to help inspire, create, and transform the leading of worship. We'll see you again right here on worshipteamtraining.com. All right, for those of you who are still listening to the end of this podcast because you're expecting to find something, well, you just found it. Guess what? If you email me right now, I have two special things to give you. If you email me at Brannon at WTTU.co, that's B-R-A-N-O-N at WTTU.co, I will give you one free mentoring session just because you listened all the way through. And that's not all. The second gift I can give you is 50% off into our membership university. You'll get the full transform membership half off if you go to WTTU.co slash join. That's J-O-I-N. WTTU.co slash J-O-I-N. Get it today. Thanks for listening to the very, very end. We hope that you enjoy it. Check out the free mentoring session and WTTU.co slash join for your half off membership. Love you and thank you so much for your attention.